So have you ever been to Vietnam? Hands up, don't be shy. If you have, you probably wondered why it is always the woman that do all the heavy lifting. Um, row a boat loaded with heavy tourists from different countries aboard, or carry a shoulder pole filled with tons of different stuff. And men, if you can see there in the corner, men do not even bother to help, as if it is the way it should be. As a matter of fact, it has never been the other way around in Vietnam. Women have never been discriminated against on the basis of their being the vulnerable, the weaker kind. Many centuries ago, women were actually in church before the Confucian influence, uh, which was brought along by the Chinese invasion, Vietnam was predominantly a matriarchal society. There were women which led rebellions. They inspired thousands of warriors to follow them onto the battlefield. Ba Chiu or Sisters Ching's, uh, S Sister Ching are the marvelous examples of this bravery beyond measure. Um, the significant role of Vietnamese women is also reflected in their religious beliefs. As you probably know, there is still a cult of mother goddess. And um, as you also probably know, in many countries of the region, people venerate their, their ancestors. There is a cult of spirits of their ancestors. And um, according to traditions, in many countries of this region, when a woman gets married, she is to abandon her family spirits and to venerate only those of her husband. Um, that is the case for China and some other countries. And um, it is a tragedy for a woman, for she has to abandon her family spirits. And uh, it is one of the main causes for selective abortions in China. Because the families there, they want to have a son so that their legacy, their um, spirits could be venerated. Mm, but it's not the case for Vietnam. Vietnam is an exception here. Women in Vietnam, when they get married, they retain their right to venerate their ancestors as well as those of her husband. It might sound vague for us, mm, not important, but I cannot stress enough the importance of this for the Vietnamese people. So, when a daughter is born to a Vietnamese family, they can rest assured that their family reg legacy, that their ancestors, that their spirits would be venerated and preserved. <clears throat> uh, let's take a closer look to the Vietnamese history. Uh, for many centuries, the Vietnamese people fought for independence under the Chinese dominance. Um, after that, they repelled attacks from foreign invaders. Uh, then they had to fight for independence in times when they were turned into a French colony. And then another war, perhaps one of the most terrible, the cruelest wars the humanity has ever seen was waged against Vietnam. So women had to sustain the vitality of their country while men were at war for, for, for decades uh, they had no one to count on. They had to do everything by themselves and they had their own battles to fight. That's what made them strong and tenacious. Nowadays, in Vietnam, uh, things are different in a way. They live in a peaceful society, but women get equal access to education, unlike in many Asian countries. They are well represented in parliament, in government, in uh, the Communist Party and even in the army, which is a great success. Some of Vietnamese women are even billionaires. They are extremely successful. They are successful entrepreneurs and they are CEOs of the uh, biggest Asian companies. But at the same time, they are tender, they are beautiful, they are romantic. So, um, by way of conclusion, I would like to say you this. Mm. When a daughter is born to a Vietnamese family, um, it, is, um, it is a blessing. And uh, parents in Vietnam never bring their daughter up as a, um, 
as if she, as if she was a little princess, they never convinced her that she demands special assistance or treatment just because she is a girl. Um, instead, parents in Vietnam teach their little girls to be strong, resilient, smart, and resourceful. They teach them that there is no one in the world uh, they can count on because no one knows what life has in store for them. That is why these girls must be strong and resourceful. And that is why they should always be ready to take the matters into their own hands and instead of waiting for some man to come and rescue them, as it happens in some Disney movies. So uh, let, let me urge you to think, uh, to think about it. And uh, maybe uh, some, someday in the future, you could take it up as a parental technique in case you have a daughter. Thank you.